Good morning. I am so not used to using this cell phone yet, so I'm going to do the best I can here for you. What I'm starting to make this morning is chocolate cherry jam. So what I have in my pan that you can see um, is six cups of fresh chopped, coarsely chopped cherries. And to this, you're going to add a quarter cup of lemon juice and one box of pectin which I just put in my cup and you're going to stir this until it comes to a full rolling boil and I'm just starting it so I may just go ahead and pause the camera till it gets to that point these are really really nice cherries Pitting them's not fun, so if anybody has tricks or shortcuts on that one, bring it on. That would be really nice. I'm going to crank my heat up a little more. I have my jars over here, and they're warming up because you're gonna. this is going to be a water bath process. Sorry. I am so messy. And what you have standing by on the side, by the way, is you have, which is right here, it's six cups of sugar and two-thirds cup of unsweetened cocoa and as soon as we get this to a, a full boil then we're going to pour the sugar and the cocoa in and bring it back to a boil and then it's ready to go in our jars so really not too hard um, five ingredients cherries pectin lemon juice sugar and unsweetened cocoa and that's all that it takes to go in here. I'm going to pause this video and I'll be back once these cherries have um, let go of a little more of their juice. So see you in a few. Okay, and I'm back. It was a little hard to try and um, with, this, with this tripod in my way when I was stirring in the sugar and the cocoa. So I just went ahead and I am stirring it in. You want to pretty much stir this constantly because it's, if not, it will burn. I think that's the same pretty much for all jellies. So I have my lids back here um, on simmer. Have my other ones over here getting hot. And so now what we're waiting for this to do is we're waiting for it to return to a rolling boil then we're going to fill our jars and process them for 10 minutes anyway so what you're going to do is of course is remove the air bubbles you want to wipe the rims leave a quarter inch head space and they will be processed for 10 minutes when the 10 minutes is up, what you're going to do is leave them, turn off the heat, and let them stand in the canner or water bath for five more minutes, and then you can take them out and cool them. I've been told, this is my first time making this, I have had it before, I bought some at the farmer's market. Oh my goodness, it was really yummy. The lady there made so many kinds of jams I've never even heard of. And our farmer's market comes back again um, about a month from now in my town. So I'm kind of anxious to go back up there and see if she's there and do the smart thing and ask her if she has a web page, Facebook page, YouTube channel, something. She makes a lot of hers um, because her husband has high blood sugar and cannot eat a lot of the sweet stuff. She has tricks and ways that she does it for him so that he can still enjoy their the jelly and jams as well. Okay, so what I'm doing is waiting on this to come to a full rolling boil. I don't think you guys need to see how to fill jars or remove the air bubbles or wipe. And I'm going to start a timer and let it go for one minute. You can skim off the foam if you want to. 
I gotta say it doesn't really bother me so much so um, I'm not going to see I can't hold this thing and stir so good morning y'all um, my chocolate cherry jam is done and it's cold it's the next day obviously I did notice an error that I made the recipe called for six tablespoons of pectin and I figured out that the box only contains five tablespoons for what I used so as you can see it's not like it's runny but it's just not quite as thick as I like it to be um, it is kind of runny I'm probably gonna reprocess it so if anyone makes this recipe please be sure to use the six tablespoons another thing is if you don't like cocoa this is not gonna be a recipe for you if you kind of like it you know you could tone it down the amount that's called for in the recipe maybe you could start off by putting half of that in there and taste testing along along the way see how it goes and adjust it to your taste I happen to think it's really good just just like it is you get the cocoa hit you get the cherry hit and I like so there you have it chocolate cherry jam and it is a beautiful color it's like a dark plum it's a very beautiful color you'll have a good day and as always God bless you